Jump de jump jump jump. So was that fun or what? Did you say hi to the disembodied head? Oh, Sabrina, you were so close. But not close enough. You'll have to go back and try again. Oh, right. Sabrina, unless you can travel all the way through the netherworld vortex, you're never going to make it to Witchling Level 3. You want to be held back at Level 1 your whole life? It's Dweeb City. Soon, no one will speak to you but warty trolls in bad suits and cheap leprechauns who borrow your gold and never pay you back. If I ever find that little twerp... Look, Sabrina, you shouldn't be put off by a little failure. It's the only real road to success. Sorry, Aunt Zelda, but this road's just too scary. <sighs> Maybe she'll feel better after a good night's sleep. Salem? Eh, what? Do you hear something? Yeah, you. Waking me up out of a perfect dream. Yasmin Bleeth and I were lifeguards on a tuna boat. What's that? Don't hurt me! <laughs> Take her! It, it's coming from under the bed! <laughs> Hold it. I know why we were running, but why was it running? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, please, don't, don't hurt me. Hey, he's afraid of us. Booga, booga. Ah! <laughs> Salem, cut it out. Don't mind him. It's okay, we won't harm you. Come on out. I'm Sabrina. Who are you, and why were you under my bed? My name is Boogie. I am a boogeyman. I'm sorry, you said a boogeyman, as in the scariest creature alive? Uh, that's right. Uh, please excuse me. I have to go behind that door and laugh till I hurt. I don't blame you. I can't scare anything. Mockingbirds mock me. Why do you want to scare anybody? It's my dad. He wants me to be a boogeyman like him. But it's no use. I'm too afraid of everything myself. Come on. No one's afraid of everything. Oh, no? I'm afraid of shampoo, pancake mix, and extra strength spray starch. And those are only the household convenience products. Well, who isn't? Oh, that's right. Everybody! <laughs> I'm also afraid of the dark and string cheese. Most of all, I'm afraid of my father. I sometimes get this weird feeling that he's watching me. Oh, everyone thinks that about their parents, but it's never true. Uh, Dad loves this scare stuff, but I stink at it. How am I gonna face him? I think the pressure's giving me a rash. Is my tongue coated? Hey! Oof. It's, uh, kinda hard to tell. <sighs> anyway, I know how you feel. It's tough when everyone's pressuring you to succeed and you just can't. You too, huh? Yeah. I'm supposed to make it through the netherworld vortex, but it is so not fun. The vortex? Gee, I love that place. Sure, the vortex is probably easy for you, just like the mortal world is for me. It just depends on what you're familiar with. Got it! Don't do that! <laughs> Boogie, we can help each other. I know the mortal world pretty well. I could teach you not to be afraid of mortal things, and you could teach me not to be afraid of the vortex. Gee, I don't know. All this lack of fear stuff sounds risky. I'll show you. You said you're scared of the dark, right? But a dark room isn't any more dangerous than the same room with light. Boogie, look at this room. Nothing scary, right? Uh, I guess. And when I turn out the light, it's exactly the same, except it's dark. <gasps> Maybe next time you can teach him about that thing we call a door. I, I thought about what you said. You think you could really help me not be afraid? Absolutely. Well, then I'm ready. What do we do first? 
Well, first, you come out of the locker. Oh! There. See, this isn't bad, is it? No, not bad at all. Thanks. Next, we have to do something about the way you look. Whoa! Fingers! Cool! White! I've only got two eyes! Where's my back? I can't see my back! Ah, it's got me! Don't let it eat me! Uh, oh! 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 Boogie, Boogie, calm down. Now, please, you've got to stay human. I, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Can you give me a stronger spell? I'm only a half-witch. That's as strong as it gets, so you're gonna have to help. Uh, I'll try, but if I get scared... <laughs> oh, no! I'm not ready for social contact! Oh! 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 I see. Spellman's found herself another loser. Color me surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sap. I'm Chloe. Who are you? B -b -b Boogeyman. Uh, Boogman. <laughs> His name is a uh, Boogie Boogman of the uh, Boston Boogmans. Hmm. Certainly, you've heard of the Boston Boogmans. Only the creme de la creme of Boston high society. Creme de la creme. The best we get in Greendale is plain creme. I've got to get to know him. I'm Jem Stone. Of the Greendale Stones, I'm sure you're anxious to meet uh, me. Hate to meet and run, but I gotta go. Hmm. Well, if she thinks she's gonna keep a real Boston Blue Blood to herself, she's got another think coming. Boogie, you've gotta learn to face people or you'll never overcome your fears. <laughs> oh, but I get scared. Look, Uncle Quigley says if you just take the time to understand something, you won't be afraid of it. So the next time you're scared, maybe you should stop and take a good look at what's scaring you. It's like Uncle Quigley always says, shine a light and banish fright. <laughs> shine a light and banish fright. Shine a light and banish fright. Got it. Hey, I'm starting to feel better already. Ah! Boogie! Sabrina! Sabrina, where are you? Shine a light and banish. bumps into me without getting bumped back. No, boys, the bell has rung. You should be in your classes. Yes, Mrs. Bleachstain. I was just about to direct this unfortunate law student to the science lab. I'm sure he can find his own way. Come along, Horace. We'll finish this after school. Oh! Anymore. I can't help you if I can't find you. Class, settle, settle. Oh, sorry, Spellman. This is the blue blood section. Our subject for today is quadratic equations. Oh. So, who can tell me what x is if x squared minus x is 42? <gasps> Seven. Why, that's correct. <sighs> You're so smart. The benefits of good breeding. Uh, so it's obvious that X must be a prime number between 7 and 3. Uh, therefore, the answer must be 5. Correct again, Boogie. Well, it looks like we've gotten through today's lesson ahead of schedule, thanks to Mr. Boogman. Since there's nothing left to cover, class is dismissed early. Yeah! And you weren't afraid. You weren't even nervous. Oh, what is there to be afraid of? 
Math is easy. I've always liked numbers. Right. Don't you see? You weren't afraid of it because you understood it. So the more you know about something, the less scary it is? Exactly. Going somewhere? Huh? I told you, no one bumps me without getting bumped back. <laughs> Knock it off, Slugla. Stay out of it, Spellman. This is between me and the bumper here. Shine a light and vanish fright. Shine a light and vanish fright. Shine a light and vanish fright. <laughs> You see, it's like I always say, shine a light and banish fright. In layman's terms, that means whenever there's something you're afraid of, you just shine a light on it, and you'll never be scared again. Shine a light and banish fright? A oh, Lance, it wasn't me who burned down the hospital and foreclosed on your mortgage. It was my evil twin. Oh, not another one. Am I the only one without an evil twin? Whoa! Oh. Boogie? <laughs> I was pretty good, wasn't I? And now that you can handle your fears, I think you're gonna make a terrific boogie man. Uh, yeah. Sabrina, can I tell you a secret? Of course. The truth is, I never really wanted to be a boogie man. That was all my father's idea. My real dream is to be an accountant. An accountant? Yeah. You see, I've always loved numbers. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll bet you'd make a great accountant. Oh, I wish. <sighs> but it's just a crazy dream. See, I come from a long line of boogeyman, and my dad expects me to go into the family business. Excuse me, it's a cell phone. Hello? Uh-oh. We'll be right there. That was Salem. We have to get back to my house now. Your parents are there. Oh, no! Boogie, don't melt on me. This is the new Boogie, strong, fearless. Missing. Boogie, you're coming with me and you're going to face your father. And you know what else? You're gonna tell him you wanna be an accountant. Oh, right. And then afterwards, I'm gonna turn into a gaucho and dance the tango. Are you crazy? Look, remember how scared you were of Slugloaf? Well, you faced him down. Uh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, but I don't know. My father. It's no different. When we get to my house, you just look your father in the eye and say it. Just remember, shine a light. And banish fright. Yeah, shine a light and banish fright. Shine a light and banish fright. So, the Boogmans of Boston are at Spellman's house. Well, I think it's time for a social call. So now he's teaching kids not to be afraid. Oh, what kind of thing is that for a boogeyman? It's our job to make people afraid. Now, Cupcake, it isn't as bad as all that. Ooh, these sandwiches are delightful. Uh, thank you, M Mrs. Boogeyman. Please, call me Bunny. Shine a light and banish fright. Shine a light and banish fright. <sighs> okay. I think I can do it. I'm gonna look Dad right in the eye and say, Dad, I... I want to be an accountant. Good for you, Boogie. And this time, you won't need anyone's help. Uh, this time? What do you mean, this time? Well, I, I, I might have helped out just a teensy tiny bit with Slugloaf. Help, help, help out? You, you, you mean I, I, I didn't... Because you, you... It was only a tiny spell, honest. I was just trying to give you a hand. So I'm not just a coward. I'm a fraud. Oh. Jim? A 
Okay, Spellman. I know the Boston Boogmans are in there. They're high-class society, elite like me, and I have the right to meet them. Jem, go away. <laughs> Let me in! Look! An entire busload of aristocrats! Where? Ooh, I can't believe I fell for that again! Nothing is going to keep me out of that house. <laughs> Sign a light and banish my Aunt Fanny. What kind of boogeyman are you? Are you trying to ruin us? Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Look, maybe I'm just not cut out to be a boogeyman. Not cut out? What are you talking about? I'm a boogeyman. My father was a boogeyman. And his father, and his father. What else would you be? Uh, an accountant? An accountant? No son of mine is going to be an accountant. I'm grounding you for a hundred years. And you think we're strict? Okay, it's on to the roof, shimmy across the rain gutter, pry open the attic window, and then hello, Bugmans. And I don't want to hear any more accountant nonsense. We're going home now. Oh, look at the time. I'm already running late for tonight's scare appointments. Thank you for the delightful finger sandwiches. You're welcome. Come again. Hmm. They didn't even have real fingers. Ed, be nice. Come along, Junior. Can I say goodbye to my friends? Oh, all right. But for the record, I don't approve of friends. And it wouldn't hurt to clean this drain once in a while. Well, thanks anyways for trying, Sabrina. Sorry it didn't work. I guess I'm just a big flop. Boogie, you are not a flop. Look, I'm sorry I let you think you beat Slugloaf. That was wrong of me. But that doesn't change the fact that you did face him and your father, too. And all because you were willing to learn about what scared you. Unlike a certain witch I know who's still scared to go into the vortex. You? Still? You're still afraid of the netherworld vortex? <laughs> it's not funny. Yes, it is. Don't you see? It's what you've been saying. The only reason you're scared is because you don't understand it. To me, it's just part of the old neighborhood. Hey, Boogman! <gasps> I know you're in there. Time to finish what we started. Oh, great. Slugloaf again. I'll get rid of him. No, wait. I want to handle this on my own. <sighs> well, if it ain't the little creepazoid, ready to get launched? I'm not scared of you. You only pick fights with kids who are smaller than you, because you're afraid of a fair fight. Yeah? So what are you going to do about it? This! I think you made your point. Huh. That was fun. Eh, but I'd still rather be an accountant. And that's scare number 12. No oh, drat. Still way behind schedule. Gotta run. Huh? Hi, Dad. Boogie? Sorry to interrupt you at work, but there's something I have to show you. Hey! Who are you people? Spellman, what are you doing in my room? Boogie, I don't have time for... Dad, uh, this will only take a moment of your valuable time. I intend to show you how, by using modern accounting methods, you can add up to 50% to your scarability quotient. Now, beginning with... 
And if you switch your scaring schedule to the 12 to 4 prime beta sleep time, you can easily create 60% more nightmares with 50% less downtime. Oh, 50% you say? Eh, simple accounting, Dad. Overall, you should see an increase in business in the first fiscal quarter of 43%, which means you and Mom will be able to go on that second honeymoon you've always wanted. Oh, Death Valley. Son, you've made me proud. Now, how about if I knock off early? We should go home and tell your mother <laughs> that we have an accountant in the family. <laughs> Great, Dad. Now, let's talk taxes. Hello? Okay, Spellman, start explaining. Now! Uh, isn't it obvious? This is all a dream. It is? But in my dreams, you're always my maid. Will there be anything else, ma'am? <sighs> That's better. See you tomorrow, Jem. But first, I've got to see a man about a vortex. And this time, I'm not chickening out. <laughs> and when you carry the two, the answer is divisible by 1.935, which is the square root of the lowest prime number. <laughs> What was that? I thought I made it clear that there were to be no cellular phone calls received or made in this class. Ooh. Sabrina, I am so disappointed in you. But you just earned a week's detention. Let's see, who's behaving well? Ah, Gemini, would you please go up and solve the problem on the board? Are you going to stand for that? Not if it was the national anthem. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! My blueberry pie! Ha <laughs> ha! That blueberry stain's going to be there till her senior year. Hey, what's with you? That was Primo. Oh, it was okay. But I really wanted to do something huge, like make all her hair fall out. So if what you wanted to do was make all her hair fall out, why didn't you just go for it? Because I can't do really big magic. Like, I don't have the power to change major stuff. Darn it. If I had my full powers, I could have really zonked Jem. You did pretty well. You always do pretty well. Are you kidding? My powers are totally pathetic for a witch my age. Problem is, I never get to practice because I have to keep it all a secret. Well, look on the bright side. You're always going to be way ahead of me, right? <laughs> Greetings, family unit. What's up? Ah! A spellogram from the netherworld. Whoa. Think maybe we won the Poltergeist Clearinghouse sweepstakes? No, it's about Sabrina. Me? What did I do? It's not what you did, it's what you're going to do. The Witches' Council has decreed that it's time for you to go to Camp Wicca. It's boot camp, part of every witch's basic training. All witches must complete their training at Camp Wicca before their 16th birthday. Killer! It's the first step to qualifying for full witchhood. Great, this is going to be fun! I'm so ready to amp up my powers. <laughs> Camp Wicca is two weeks of sheer torture. But if you don't successfully complete it, you'll never get your full powers. Torture? My drill instructor once made me eat pinch bugs for breakfast. Plain! I had to collect all the rat's feet for morning spell practice by myself in an ice storm. Well, I don't care. I'm looking forward to it. For the first time in my life, I'm going to get to hang out with other kids my own age who are just like me. For once, I won't be the weirdo. When do I leave? One transportation spell coming up. Now, I need to pack some outfits. What you need to bring is your wits, Nisi girl. It may be a little extra rough for you. You're probably the first half witch they've ever had at Camp Wicca. They want you to report right away. But the good news is the time is different in the netherworld. You can do two weeks there and still be home in time for school Monday morning. I am 
so excited. I'm finally on my way to becoming a real witch. This is gonna be such a kick. Most of all, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. And you're gonna need to do what your mom always told you. Have the courage to stick to it when things get tough. No sweat, Aunt Zelda. I'm gonna ace it. One pair of midget dragons. <laughs> one skull of a pirate. Now, stand back. This is where we get jiggy. Spin in orbit like the sun. Spin until you fuse as one. <gasps> Next time you see me, you're going to be looking at the hottest thing to hit the world of witches since bats and the broomstick. Bye now! Great if you survive! Bye! Make us proud! than I pictured it. Okay, you're not gonna let this get you down, Spellman. You're here to conquer. Ah! Dude, hygiene, look into it. No recruits must report! No! Okay, okay, don't get your wart hairs in a twist. turning out exactly how I expected. Is it just me, or is this whole look a little busy? Salem, what are you doing here? Just thought I'd drop in to check up on you, and to mock your humiliation, of course. Troop attention! Presenting your commanding officer, Colonel O.B. Livius! Thank you, thank you, uh, Captain. Oh, oh wait, uh, Corporal. <laughs> Oops, you gave you a little promotion there. <laughs> okay, cadets, uh, welcome to Camp Wicca, your gateway to witchhood. I can't believe how scared I am. Me too. My name's Sabrina Spellman. Pixelia Potionson. And upon graduation, I look forward to handing out the coveted Golden Wart Award to the best cadet among you. Make us proud. I will, Aunt Zelda. And I'm gonna do it by winning the Golden Wart. Now then, uh, I think it's time for my nappy poo. So I'll turn you over to the young woman with whom you will be spending every waking minute for the next two weeks. Your drill instructor, Captain Melissa Forthought. <gasps> That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Well, what do we have here? Why, it looks like the biggest group of losers I've ever seen. I don't think any of you stand a chance of completing this training. <laughs> Got something to share, worm? No, not a thing. I was just... <gasps> Spellman. Oh, wait. They told me you were coming. Ow, 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 ow. Troops, I don't believe I've introduced you to the company Oddball. Private Spellman here happens to be the only half-witch ever to go through basic training in the entire history of Camp Wick. Ow! Oh, well, I, I thought she was here. What does that mean, half witch? It means my father is a warlock and my mother is, well, a mortal. A mortal? So who do you live with, witches or mortals? Mortals, mostly. You live in the mortal world? Oh. Like, how do you use your magic there? When do you get to act like a witch? Well, I've never actually met a half-witch before, but I've heard they're all the same. Cowards and quitters. My cousin told me they don't wash and they steal other people's spells. You and everybody like you give me the creeps. How, 
How can you say that? You just admitted you've never even met a half-witch before. Yeah? Well, I've heard all the stories, and there's no way I'm gonna let somebody like you take her place in the ranks of the true broom riders. I got a hot tip for you. Don't count on graduating. I'm the one who decides who passes and fails basic training. If you don't successfully complete it, you'll never qualify to get your full powers. Oh, this is so not fair! I don't know that I've heard tales. I don't know that I've heard tales. Mortals have a funny smell. Mortals have a funny smell. Sorry, Sabrina. Mush! Mush! I've always wanted to say that. I'm not in the mood for humor right now, okay, Salem? If you want to help, just turn into a Jeep and give me a ride. Tisk tisk, you shouldn't sass me. Seems I'm the only one around here you can talk to. I know, and I don't understand why. I thought I'd fit in here, I thought I'd make all kinds of new friends, but nobody will even get close enough for me to talk to. <laughs> they hate me. They don't hate you, they haven't even met you. They're buying into all the stupid stereotypes. So you gotta show them who you really are. And while you're doing it, you gotta keep your head up high. Ah! That is, when you have clearance. Dinner? This is boot camp. You gotta conjure up your own food. Oh no, not more magic. Pizza. Hot pizza. Ugh! Pizza, not pea soup. Let me try again. I'm so hungry. I need food. Oh, it seems the chef has prepared cold cereal and a bag of chips. Well, beats starving. Huh? Ew! What's happening? Ah! I changed it. And if you were a real witch, you could change it back. <laughs> now grab a seat! For her! Left, right, left, right! Move those feet! Your shoes are untied. <laughs> Sneaking home with your tail between your legs. All that does is prove her point. I'm going home. You are a coward and a quitter. Look, I'll get my powers, okay? I'll I'll just have to explain things to the witches' council. Yeah, right. Those old bats haven't given anybody a break in 800 years. Face it, it's this or nothing. Well, then I guess it's nothing, because I can't stay here one more day. Now hand me the poison oak. Yeah, right. Don't get me wrong, I'm normally a big fan of quitting, but this isn't the way to go. You need to teach these people a lesson. What if she's right? What if I'm not good enough to be a real witch? Well, if she is, then you're never going to be able to get yourself home, are you? What is that? 
I'm improvising. Now stand back. If you don't help, you don't get to criticize. No, no, come on. Keep it together. little shenanigan. Well, look who's making a mess of a perfectly simple transportation spell. If you wanted to go home, you little wimp, all you had to do was ask. I'd be more than happy to send your sorry self packing. You mean I can go home? On the Lightning Express! <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of the daughter of a warlock who was tacky enough to hook up with a mortal! That rips it. Nobody takes shots at my parents. My mom and dad are awesome, both of them, and neither one of them would ever run away from a clueless bully like you. And I'm not going to either. Yeah? Well, then I'm gonna make your next six and a half days a living nightmare. Why don't you just hit the road, quitter? And you're gonna need to do what your mom always told you. Have the cards to stick it out when things get tough. Bring it on, you overgrown iguana. Not only am I going to stay and graduate from this camp, but when I leave, I'm taking the Golden Wart with me. <gasps> we were all afraid, but you actually had the courage to stand up to her. If all half-witches are like you, Sabrina, they must be completely amazing. You'll be sorry for this. You'll all be sorry! Good luck. I'll be rooting for you <laughs> from home. Melissa, but you're messing with the wrong half-witch here. Uh, well, ladies, it's uh, uh, an hour before inspection time. You got me up from my nap an hour early? Do you'll pay for this, Captain! I'm going to get you, Spellman. Excellent spirit manifestation spell. Very scary. <laughs> okay, what would mom tell me? Stay calm, Sabrina. Don't panic. Think. Ghost spell. Replacing and repairing. Improving and multiplying. Yes! Why, Abe, Albert, it's been forever. Get your ectoplasm over here. <laughs> Good show, soldier. Those powers are coming along nicely. That girl's really going places. Oh. 
this camp isn't big enough for the two of us, Spellman. Then go on a diet. Poor thought. You knew this was coming. Draw! Oh, playing rough, are we? Because the right thing to do is to treat people like you'd want them to treat you. I learned that from my mother, the mortal. She also taught me not to judge other people before getting to know them. I don't know you very well, but I do know you're a killer at witchcraft. I think if we were friends, there's a lot I could learn from you. How can you be so nice to me? Like my mom and dad always say, no matter what the outside looks like, inside most people, you can usually find something nice. But you gotta take the time to look. We are so proud of you, Sabrina. Major ditto. Yo! It's okay, Chloe. Just a message from the Witches' Council. Sabrina, it's for you. It's from Melissa. She says she thinks we could be good friends and that she'd love to come and visit sometime. Hey, get her to come now. I mean, who better to really zap Jim once and for all? Hmm, tempting. But nah. I learned a lot about prejudice at camp. Maybe underneath all of Jem's meanness, there's a nice person waiting to be discovered. And just what do you think the chances are of that being true? Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one, Salem. <laughs> 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 of you. <laughs> Hi guys, I'll be in my room if anyone needs <laughs> dance lessons, because sometimes I just gotta shake my jiggy groove and booty thang. <laughs> Dance lessons, huh? Don't tell Uncle Quigley. Don't tell him what? That you were starting a dog farm under your jacket? He followed me home. His name's Alvin. Can I keep him? Oh, brother, another one. What? Sabrina, you don't have the best track record with pets. You may mean well, but as soon as you get bored, I'm always left to take care of them. Not always. What about Pancreas? <laughs> when was the last time you changed her water? <laughs> and Hermes the hamster? Two weeks after you got him, you were bored and stopped playing with him. Poor little guy. Wonder what happened to him. Hi, my name is Hermes, and I never got affection growing up. Hi, Hermes. 
But this is a whole new ball game, I promise. Hmm. He is a cute little guy. But his owners are probably looking for him. I'll put up signs. Please. You'd be the best uncle in the nine nether worlds. Look, you scratch his tummy and his leg twitches. Just like Winston Churchill. Or so I'm told. Sabrina, pets require long-term constant commitment. I promise I'll train him and feed him and walk him long-term. Nobody will even know he's here. Okay, then. But the minute you slack off, young lady, that dog goes to a shelter. I won't let you down. Don't let the dog down. Gee, manay. I just had the worst nightmare. Sabrina came home with, of all awful things, a disgusting, mangy dog. <laughs> Hopefully nobody will call. Then you'll be mine forever. Come on, buddy, let's go. <laughs> A game guru? Cool. Me? I'm not doing anything. Just sitting here all by myself, bored. No, not for doggies. That could do terrible things to. What, Harvey? Sure, I'd love to come over. I'll be right there. does miss Maruzak. Alvin, I should probably put you in the kitchen, but Quigley won't notice if you sleep here. Just one. Uh, what's happening to him? He's alive. <laughs> He's alive, I tell you. Alive! <laughs> Allegory. Ambush. Hmm. Maybe he's been kidnapped and spirited away to a doggy work farm in upstate New York. Hey, a cat can dream, can't he? I knew I shouldn't have let him sleep up here. Quigley's going to be so mad. Sabrina, I need to talk to you about that pooch of yours. Great job. I'm sorry. I know he's supposed to sleep in the kitchen. I just... Great job. 
for all the work you've done with that little guy. Why, just this morning, I watched as he let himself in and out the back door with his little tiny puppy whoppy paw. How'd you teach him that? Um... <laughs> well, I don't need to know your secrets. Just keep up the good work. Amazing. Just amazing. I didn't teach him that. Maybe he just picked it up on his own. Dogs are idiot creatures that run around in circles for no apparent reason and munch grass till they vomit. Trust me, they don't just pick up on things. <laughs> Boy, are you trying to tell me something? What's that? Timmy's in the well? No, actually, it's Salem in the well, and he could use a little bit of help here, please. What are you, a guppy? Pull me out of here! Good boy, Alvin. You saved Salem. Saved me? <laughs> he tried to drown me. What? How do you think I got in there? He picked me up and threw me in. <laughs> he, uh, picked you up? Well, yeah. Shame on you, Salem, trying to frame poor little Alvin. What? That dog's not normal. I'm telling you, he's possessed. Possessed? Don't be ridiculous. You're just jealous. Jealous of a dog? Yeah, right after I staple roller skates to my paws and scoot around making choo-choo noises. You don't fool me, pal. <laughs> Did you see that? Look what he's doing. I'm ignoring you, Salem. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Busted, stupid mutt. Don't ever laugh at me. You can talk? Yeah! <laughs> Don't believe me, do they? Think I'm just jealous, huh? Don't believe the precious little dog is possessed? Well, I'll prove it to them. <laughs> Greendale Junkyard? What would they be doing? Close speaking. His name's Alvin, and he's got some radical ideas, I hear. More dogs that can talk? This is my worst nightmare. You know why I've gathered you, brothers? Who in this crowd has been mistreated by the humans? Well, I, yeah, I, I, I got that right. Yeah. 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 You, Bosley, tell us what they did to you. My humans never brush me. They never bathe me. I am constantly bitten by the fleas. I feel dirty and unloved. You, Ling Ling. Yeah, they dress me up in these humiliating little outfits. They stick me in front of a TV camera, and they make me sell fast food egg rolls. And what of me, you ask? The worst offense of all. A girl took me home, and I was lost, and she... <laughs> she forgot I existed. She stopped playing with me, and even forgot to feed me. Well, that ends today! The canine race is no longer subject to the cruel whims of humankind. I will lead you, my four-legged brethren, to the mountains where dogs run free and hunting is good. Go with humans! But our powers are fleeting. Our power of speech derives from a magical totem. Its power will make us strong. Tonight we strike. The spooky jar is going to the dogs. 
I've got to warn Sabrina. Eep! Get that cat! <laughs> <laughs> it appears we have a spy in our midst. Get your hands off me, you dang dirty dogs! <laughs> Alvin, here, boy. Where could he be? Alvin? Bosley! Bosley! Emma? Here, girl! Mr. Snurdly! Here, boy! Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Someone stole all the dogs in town and looted all the pet stores! Now, calm down, everyone! Where's my dog? My store was broken into it. I want to know about it. Um, we're looking into it. Now, in the meantime, the sensible thing to do is to form a posse and hunt down those bandits. Yeah! And here is the leader of the dog-suited bandits. He's possessed. 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 Oh, no. Salem was telling the truth. Don't hit. Don't hit. Oh, I'm feeling fragile at the moment. What happened to you? It's Alvin. He's gone mad. I just barely escaped. He kidnapped Hilda and Zelda and Quigley. But why? He's a dog. Do you need any more explanation than that? Ooh. The spooky jar. I had time to lock it all up safe and sound. Safe and sound. <laughs> Safe. It's sound. Hold me. Don't be so pathetic. He wants us to meet at the Tasty Bone Factory with the Spooky Jar. If we ever want to see our family again. and played with him, none of this would have happened. Why did I leave the spooky jar out? It's all my fault. I hate to say it, but I told you so. You don't hate it, you love it. Guilty as charged. Let's go. Mm. Wait, Ow! me? I'm not going back there. You got out. I need you to show me the way back in. No, I'd sooner die a thousand lingering painful deaths than face those horrible slavering canine monsters. I'll give you a ball of yarn. Hmm. Okay. Like those two are the only dogs on guard. Cover me. With what? Here, a dog treat. <laughs> Ugh, lamb and rice? I'm just saying, you gotta ask yourself is sniffing each other really the best method of saying hello? Uh, interesting point, uh, interesting. I mean, yeah, why couldn't we just shake hands or something? Really makes you wonder, Fluffy. That it does, Scraps. Yeah, uh, that it does. Hey, where are you going? Oh, man! Beef and liver flavor. <laughs> you 
Hello, Sabrina. I've been expecting you. Tito, Bosley, apprehend her! Geranium! <laughs> Salem, what were you thinking? Oh, don't overwhelm me with your gratitude all at once there. You tried to fool me! How dare you! You're not getting the spooky jar. Then you're not getting your freedom. Why are you doing this? We're sick of the way you people treat dogs. The way you take us for granted, forget to feed us, treat us like objects. We have feelings too, you know. But Alvin... And you're no different. Getting so caught up in your life that you ignored me. Just like my original owners leaving me at the park. All I want is for someone to love me. I didn't mean anything by it, Alvin. I'm so sorry. You're the cutest, sweetest dog ever. You mean that? Well, it's too late. I'm serious. The way you jumped in my lap the first time we met, you were so trusting, and I let you down. Got that right. But that's why people like dogs so much. You're forgiving and kind and loving, and you're our best friends. What's going on? The spell must be fueled by Alvin's feelings. If she makes him remember what it's like being a dog, it will go away. Sabrina, it's working. It's working. Make him remember being a dog. But it's true. It's my fault. Alvin, will you forgive me? I... I love you. Really? You do? police car and make the siren go woo? Really? You're not toying with me like last time. No, I'm in a generous mood today. <laughs> Come on, Alvin. Let's go home. <laughs> Come on, you flea barge. Throw me the stinking ball. Alvin! I found your flyer. Oh, thank you so much. My husband and I have been looking for him ever since he got lost in the woods. So you didn't just leave him? Oh, not on your life. We searched for days. I love him more than you can imagine. I know how you feel. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, you know, I will too. Good, because I'm thinking about getting another dog. Over my dead, festering body. <laughs> <laughs> experiment will test how long it takes Chester to ride the scooter around the cones and get to the cheese. Okay, Harvey, ready? And go! Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I don't understand it. Chester should be a genius by now. We've trained him for months, fed him a special <sighs> high IQ diet. And don't forget all those mouse therapy sessions. Well, we can still win. The science fair isn't until tomorrow. I don't know. The competition looks pretty stiff. Well, huh? well, well. 
If it isn't my favorite rat wranglers. Hi, Hi Jem. Jem. Oh, look at that. You taught a mouse to eat cheese. What a breakthrough. You know, Jem, we don't all have the money to hire a team of German scientists to do our project for us. Oh, them? They're just giving me a little hand. Cloning my dog. Face it, Spellman. That reject rat doesn't stand a chance, and you know it. Harvey, it's not too late to come and join my exhibit. We can share first prize. Nah, I think I'll stick with Chester here. Thanks anyway. Winning isn't everything, Jem. How would you know, Spellman? You never win. Uh, students, students, <laughs> may I have your attention for a moment? I've just received some exciting news. The judge for tomorrow's Greendale Science Fair will be none other than Professor Nate Houston. <laughs> Professor Houston is the director of the Greendale Space Center. Greendale has a space center? He is also guest lecturer at the Greendale Public Library. Greendale has a library? Professor Houston is a very important man, so I urge all of you to do your best. Hmm. The only question is, where will I put the trophy when I win? She's right, you know. We don't stand a chance. Don't you worry. Chester will come through. I've got one last test I want to put him through. At home. This should smarten him right up. It's a little mouse brain food I whipped up from some vitamins and rodent hormones. And now the ultimate test. Ta-da! Wow! What exactly is it, Uncle Quigley? It's a pneumatically activated balance controlled maze for your mouse. I figured Chester here isn't hmm. dumb. He just needs a challenge. You put all that together for Chester? That is so cool. Thanks. Uh, Harvey, can you run up to the kitchen and get some cheese? Hey, sure thing. Well, now we know Harvey can do it. That leaves the mouse. Sabrina, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. You're embracing the world of science instead of relying on magic. Oh, that shows real maturity. Thanks, Uncle Quig. And thanks for building this nifty maze. <laughs> Are we having a warm moment here, or am I getting a hairball? <sighs> now let's see what little Chester can do. Look at him move! Go, Chester, go! All right! <laughs> Uncle Quigley, you're terrific. We got ourselves a winner. I'll be back in the morning, we'll head for the science fair. We're gonna show the world that a mouse can be just as smart as you and me. Ow! Oh, brother. Eh. Does little Mousy Wousy like his foodie woody? I think I'm gonna pukey wookey. Oh, stop it, Salem. You're just jealous because Ooh. Chester is getting so much attention. Sabrina! Huh? It's time for bed. Okay, Aunt Zelda. Back in your cage, little fella. We're going upstairs. Don't sweat it. I'll watch him for you. You? I can't let you watch over a mouse. You're a cat. A cat? A cat? Excuse me, but I am most certainly not a cat. You are speaking, my young half-witch, to the proud product of 20 generations of skilled warlocks. A cat, indeed. <laughs> Rumph. I, I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean... You should be. Ugh. Oh, all right. You can watch Chester. Just make sure he gets his sleep. <laughs> Tell me... <laughs> Morning, Chester. Huh? <gasps> oh no! Salem! <sighs> Morning, what? <clears throat> Oof, sorry. Salem, you ate Chester! Hey, what do you want from me? I'm a cat, remember? Oh, Salem, how could you? Chester was more than just a mouse. We bred him for grace and wit and intelligence. Well, if you'd bred him for speed, he'd still be here. Oh my gosh, um, Harvey's coming to pick us up any minute. Salem, you've got to take Chester's huh? place. Excuse me? Turn yourself into a mouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll happen. Look, you got us into this mess. You've got to get us out. Just for the science fair, please. 
get real. First I was a warlock, then I got turned into a cat. Now you want me to be a mouse? I'm just zipping down the food chain, aren't I? <laughs> well, forget it. Hmm. Ah! Yeah! Oh no. Oh no you don't. Don't even think it. Huh? From cat to mouse, he'll make the switch. And none can hear him but a witch. <laughs> Fun. I suppose you think this settles the argument. Sorry, but it's your own fault. And you better cooperate at the science fair, or I'll leave you this way. Oh, yeah? I'm sure Quigley will have something to say about this. No one can hear you but me, Salem. That's part of the spell. <laughs> Good morning, Sabrina. All ready for the big event? Uh, yeah, Uncle Quigley. And how's our little exhibit? <laughs> hey there, Chester. You know, he looks a little chubbier than I remember. <laughs> ah! Hey! Morning, all! <gasps> what happened to you, Aunt Hilda? Oh, Zelda's making me clean out all my junk from the attic. Can you be a doll and give me a hand, Sabrina? Uh, okay. But just for a little bit. Harvey's picking me up for the science fair soon. Boy, what a collection of junk. Watch your step, Sabrina. Try not to bump into any... Ow! <gasps> <sighs> When you live 600 years, you tend to accumulate a few knickknacks. <laughs> What's this door for? Hmm. Oh, uh, I forget. I think it leads to some part of the netherworld. Better stay clear of it. I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way so we have room to maneuver. Hmm. Can't hurt just to take a peek. Mm. Whoa! for a door-to-door -door salesman. Hey, well, one of these doors has to lead back to the attic. Zip, zip, blue curtain, yep. Obviously bluffing. Maybe this one. Ah! Well, it has to be one of these doors. Doesn't it? Nope, no, not here, not this one, no. Sabrina! I, I'm sorry, Harvey, I, I, I don't know where she went. If I wait any longer, we'll miss the science fair. Now why don't you go ahead, and when Sabrina shows up, I'll tell her to meet you there. Sounds good. Hmm, Chester looks a little chubbier than I remember him. Huh? Hey! Uh. No, are you? I really hate this place. Aunt Hilda, get me out of here! In this experiment, uh, I am able to generate electricity using just a potato and an accordion. Oh, and this wire running to that electric outlet. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. And that makes you a nutball. And what is your experiment, young lady? Well, Dr. Houston, I have made a clone of my adorable dog, Ruby. Say hello, Ruby. <coughs> Mm, impressive, very impressive. And you did this cloning all by yourself? Yes, all by myself. Well, perhaps you can explain your methodology. <laughs> My what? How did you do it? 
Well, uh, I uh, stuck the dog in this thingamajig and er, put some of this stuff in, and you know, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Thank you. <laughs> And what do we have here? Uh, me and uh, Sabrina, she's my partner, um, who isn't here right now. We've been training Chester here for months. We've given him a special diet and, and lots of care to make him super intelligent. Watch, you'll see. <laughs> Go on, little guy. Go on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it takes him a little while to get going. <laughs> like forever. What? That mouse is a big loser. <laughs> Just like Sabrina. Loser? Oh, yeah? We'll just see who's the loser. He waited as long as he could. Sabrina, are you in any kind of trouble? Uh, no. Because if you are, you know I'm always here to help. Yeah, I know. Hey, is that a bald eagle in the backyard? What? Where? <gasps> ah. Beware. I don't have time for this. Sheesh, you try to make things colorful. Sabrina, where have you been? I'm sorry. I just got uh, stuck somewhere. Is it over? Yeah, and guess what? We won first place. We won? Really? That's great, Harvey. That's really... Uh, hey, where's the mouse? That's the best part. Dr. Houston was so impressed with Chester that he asked if he could bring him to the Space Center. He even gave me ten bucks for him. Chester's gonna become an Astro Mouse. What? Don't worry. Here's your five. They're sending Salem, uh, Chester into outer space? Uh, well, yeah, I, well, I thought you'd be happy. You know, it's a big honor. Is there a problem? I, er, yes! We, we bonded, Chester and me. His whiskers, that tiny nose. Gee, I'm sorry, Sabrina. Harvey, you've just got to help me get him back! Uh, sure, okay. But how? Thanks for driving us to the Space Center, Uncle Quigley. Well, Sabrina, your new interest in science is very encouraging. I can't tell you how proud I am that you won first place without resorting to... Magic. Yeah, uh, thanks. Ah, uh, here we are. Yeah, all right, now that's far enough. State your business. Yeah, we're here for the tour, officer. Hey, are you sending an astronaut into space today? Nah, not this trip. You know, between you and me, those guys are just so much window dressing anyway. Heck, my Aunt Lulu could do that job if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, officer? We're kind of in a hurry. Now, you want to go where the real action is, it's in security. That's my game, because I'm a guy that likes living on the edge. Uh, want a donut? Uh, suit yourself. Anyway, all they're sending up today is a bunch of lab animals. You know, a dog, a chimp, a mouse. <laughs> huh? Hey, pal, you got any idea what they plan to do with us? <laughs> okay, thanks for the info. You seem like a bright fellow. You know what's going on? Sorry, I... I don't speak monkey. Excellent. Very good. Good, good. <laughs> You're in for quite an adventure, my little friends. It's not every animal that gets to go into outer space. Outer what? Hey, wait. No way. Help! I want out of here. 
To your right is the Space Preparation Research Facility, which includes the animal kennels. Breathe deeply, kids. You can almost smell the technology. Kids? Harvey, do you know where we're going? Me? I thought you knew. Hey! Stop right there, you two! Why, you? Don't make me drop my donut! Come back! Where are we? Don't ask me. Look for a light switch. I found it. Hey! Whoa, Harvey, what did you touch? Uh, I don't know. This must be some kind of anti-gravity chamber. Well, duh. Uh, hey, 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 it's kind of fun. Try it. Yeah! I can't stop! Try to grab hold of something. Ah! Whoa! Ten four, Silver Eagle. I'm in pursuit of two unauthorized security breaches last seen. Hey, what fool left this thing on? <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! All right, you alleged perpetrators, out of there! I think we've lost him. And if you'll step <gasps> this way, you'll see something truly fascinating. Someone's coming. Quick! Closet. This is a centrifugal G-force simulator. Here, astronauts train for the crushing gravity of a space launch. Watch! Is it me, or is this closet moving? Too bad Sabrina isn't here to see this. She'd love it. <laughs> now, if you'll come with me, you'll get to see an actual space launch. have much time. No, but he has to be somewhere. I mean, where could he be? This is just awful. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Hey! Over here! <laughs> if only he could signal us somehow. Quigley! 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 Yow. Please, sir, don't taunt the animals. There's a chance they might not come back. And we want them to enjoy what little time they have left on Earth. T minus two minutes and ten seconds. The doomed, uh, groomed animals are being loaded into the capsule. Sabrina, look! Oh, no. We've got to get him out of there. There's no time. T minus <gasps> two minutes and counting. T minus 80, 79, 78. Hold it. We have a cold 15 on the tarmac. A cold 15 is on the tarmac. Hold countdown. They're holding the countdown. What's a code 15? Who cares? This is our last chance. Wait here. But... <laughs> I got two words for you, pal. Breath mints. Ungawa. Excellent. The code 15 is over. Prepare to resume countdown. T minus 60 seconds. 59 seconds. 58 seconds. Salem! Sabrina, get me out of here. Aha! <laughs> gotcha! 30. Sheesh! Wait till the last second, why don't you? T minus huh? 20. Yikes! 90. Hold on, Salem! Ah! Huh? Er, hi, Uncle Piggly. Hmm, I'm waiting. Sure, but first you have to do something for me. What? Ah! <laughs> we have a clean liftoff. All systems go. Huh? Repeat. All systems! Uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I just didn't have the heart to tell you I'd use magic. Oh, Sabrina, you can always count on me when you're in trouble, no matter what. 
That's what I'm here for. But what could you have done? Well, you'd be surprised. What do you think held up the countdown? I don't know. Something called a Code 15? Which I believe stands for Man Walking Around Without His Pants. Uncle Quig? You didn't! I was never so embarrassed in all my life. <laughs> You're the best. What? And the next time I'm in trouble, I promise I will tell you about it. <sighs> hey, wait. How did you know the mouse was really Salem? I sent him a cheese gram. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!